On this week's Boiler Tip, we're going to answer a question we got on one of our YouTube videos, and the question's about blowing down the low water cutoff. And the question specifically was, do we need to bypass or have a bypass button for the low water cutoff? And the answer is, it depends. Um, if I've got a boiler house with multiple boilers and they're relatively small, not massive water tube boilers, um, it's best practice to trip the boiler on the low water cutoff when we do the blow down. And, and the reason is because we're verifying both the float operation and the electrical circuit operation. Because the float may fall and make an alarm, but unless we actually allow it to trip the boiler, we don't genuinely know that that aspect is gonna function properly. So on the other hand, a shunt button is very valuable if we have uh, a single large boiler that's carrying a massive load. It's obviously not gonna be best for production to shut that boiler down every day or once per shift or whatever frequency we're doing the blow down. So the use of a shunt button here allows us to hold that for the duration of the blowdown, plus I like to count to 10 just for luck, um, to make sure that we don't interrupt the operation of the boiler. So that functionally clears the float chamber, which is one of our objectives, but it doesn't test necessarily the electrical circuitry. So in that respect, in those situations, on a boiler like that, if I'm gonna shut that boiler down for some reason, for a service interval on the weekend or something like that, I will not use the shut button and actually allow it to trip. So there's your answer. Thanks for the question.